drinks before we get into it once again i had people um you know vote on my little instagram about what toy i should talk about today for toy talk and today i'll be talking about two more toys so um before i get into it i just want you guys to know you know welcome to another episode i'm trying to be real consistent like i told y'all before um, what, what else? Um, don't forget to subscribe. You know, I'm trying to get my subscribers up there. I'm really new to this. As y'all can see, I'm getting better with the quality. Sorry about the latest video that we had. You know, um, I never knew that the fucking webcam was so trash. Let me tell y'all, like, I don't think I watched my videos over, like, the whole thing before, um, the other day. I don't know why. Cheers. But yeah, like, I don't know why I never, like, watched the whole thing before. So, <laughs> sorry about that. Like, I think I'm going to just do them over. I'm going to keep them up there, but I think I'm going to just do them over because the sound was annoying. The, um, everything was just annoying. Let me see. I'll make sure it's not quiet. All right, cool. I think we good. Um, so basically, you know, welcome I'm back. Y'all know, um, I'm just trying to get into this. Let me see. I'm trying to get a feel for what I'm going to do with this uh what is it this channel i'm trying to figure out what it is that you know just everything so anyway let me just jump right into it for toy talk so today we're going to be talking about this toy and y'all already know i like to include anal toys when i talk and this is just like a new toy that i recently got and i'll talk about this too this is the anal toy i don't know if y'all into anal play but i but i am um so yeah so this toy let me tell y'all about this toy first of all this toy came in a white box and it was given to me for my birthday uh how old am i i'm 26 yeah so i'm turning 27 last year i turned 26 and for my 26th birthday i had like this battle of the sexes party it was lit it was so much fun like i'm gonna upload like little clips from my party too like I'm gonna do that for y'all, just so y'all can see how lit it was. My cake was my cake was lit. People came out. They was actually playing the games. Like I'm gonna try to upload a little bit of that too, or whatever. But anyway. educator slash toy she sells toys and she talks about stuff like that and i had that um that girl there she was basically the person that uh had all the games in order her name is love jones on instagram i'm gonna be sure to write that right down below and basically she gave me this like everybody knows that i'm like very sexual by now so people like to like give me toys and shit this is what i like if you want to give me a gift get me toys or money or both <laughs> but yeah i like i like a lot of different toys i'm I'm still very much in my experimental phase i don't know if y'all go through that or not but i know for me um i'm very much into experimenting like i like to do a lot of different shit um and i never say like if i've never done it before then i will never say that i'm not going to do it 
um i'm pretty much open to do anything at least twice that mean you know one time if, if i do it one time i'm like eh. but the second time then i could confirm whether or not i liked it like you know sometimes you get them bad moments or them bad first times um not when it comes to dick but you know just when it comes to experience so it's like for me i have to experience something at least twice for me to know all right it's not for me at least twice oh let me tell you how i tried to really search low and high for the name of this toy because honestly i didn't know the name of the, the best picture that i've come across that can maybe describe what this is because it looked just like this toy except for it's like clear and see-through i'll post a picture of it too but it's called the jack rabbit like waterproof it's a waterproof down here so i'm gonna say it's called the waterproof jack rabbit when i search it this picture comes right up except the picture that i have like you know the picture that comes up is not fully silicone like this like i'm not sure if it's just like a if this is no longer being sold or what but this specific one is not here and you know i don't know but you know whatever shout out to her for giving me the exclusive brand um, basically this has 12 speeding vibrations, six rotating speeds. So basically this is the bunny rabbit, right? Do y'all see this image properly? Like this, they call it Jack rabbit, which I feel like is because these are the bunny ears. Y'all see it? This is like a bunny space and this is the ears and this is like the bunny rabbit and this is the actual dildo. So, you know, you have the dildo, the bunny rabbit, the bunny rabbit ears, and these ears are meant to play with your clitoris. This dick is meant to get inserted inside of you. So while it's in you with these with these um bumps and stuff that's on there. That sounds terrible. Bumps and stuff. Like, <laughs> like you don't want no bumpy dick. But um the reason why they put bumps on this, I feel like it's for the sensations. Because once I show you like the how it works on here, you will understand like why these are that. So basically, um, this is just me just breaking down what the pieces are. So, you know, it comes like this. You can open it with the bottom, open it. This is where the battery goes. They take four AA batteries. One, two, three, four, Duracell. You know, I ain't getting spots about them, but they sell them legit batteries. Like I only use Duracell because do y'all know how annoying it is when your battery dies while you're trying to masturbate? has that ever happened to y'all like bitch i be ready to cry okay mm -mm. i make sure my batteries are on full speed i make sure i have a pack of batteries i don't i don't run low because i remember one time i had ran low like my battery like my other vibrator which i'm gonna talk about probably next week but my other vibrator that i really 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 love like this is my go-to vibrator like ugh, i love that vibrator but anyway that vibrator that needs fully charged batteries because if not it'll start like weakening its vibe oh i'm gonna explain y'all next week but just know in the middle of masturbating when your battery dies that shit sucks sucks ass real bad but anyway it's like it's like just just imagine like you try you try you know get into the mood or you know begin to have sex with your partner and they just can't get hard you know how fucking annoyed it is like i'm still mad and like yes i'm mad um but anyway uh so you know four batteries inside you turn it on so this on and off button is for these ears do y'all see that do y'all see these ears like moving can you see that these ears move right it goes like this real fast <laughs> so these ears really move or whatever and then the more if you press it this is the lowest vibration for these ears so if you go press it again it go really, really fast. And let me tell y'all, this feel good as shit on your clit, okay? This right here, it, oh my God, it feels so good. Like, like, it, it, uh, it, uh, it, uh, feel, it feel good. Trust me, y'all. Trust me. And this the next one. And this is like a little, um, the next, you know, pattern. This is another pattern. I'm not really a fan of the inconsistent patterns because... I don't know. I feel like you be playing with me. Like, why is you playing? That's how I be feeling. <laughs> That's how I be feeling about my inconsistent batteries. Like, these little inconsistent patterns, like, I don't like that shit. I like consistency when it comes to my little vibration patterns. This is another one. Look, this is all three of them, I guess. 
Y'all can just imagine this on your clit. Like, that shit's crazy. And this slows it down, you know, brings it slower. Hopefully, that can help, like, you know, see it a little bit. This part. Then it's speed it back up. So, yeah. So, I know earlier I probably said 12, but it might just got six. This joint look crazy. Like, can y'all see it from the side like that? Like, y'all see how it's moving? This shit look crazy. Look at that. I'm showing my Instagram followers too, y'all. They are just here. And this is another. I think this is the same three. But anyway, you can keep this vibration on. At the same time, you can turn on this. So let me turn this off so I don't confuse y'all too much. So there's another on and off button for the actual dildo, right? So inside of this dildo, which is which when I post the picture, y'all gonna see that it's clear, right? In the clear one, you can see right through it, which you can see what is actually going on. With this one, you can't really see what's going on, but the clear one, you can actually see what it is that's moving right here. So right now, so that's what these little buttons are for, is like when this is on, this is a new vibration. Let me see. If I hold it like that, would y'all be able to tell that it's like vibrating? Let me try another vibration. Cause you could just rotate it, it's called rotation. So I'm pressing it again. Yeah, I think it's just gonna go faster. Yeah, so when you get the clear one, the clear one is a lot better than this because it's um it'll show you exactly what is spinning around because there's something in here that spins around and basically like massages as you're penetrating yourself with the dildo. Um and it's about six six rotation speeds to that as well. Yeah, and so what I was saying earlier was that you can put them both on. So you can put that on, then you can be... So you can literally massage the inside of your G-spot at the same time while playing with your clit. Oh my God, y'all. Have you ever been, like, had sex with someone while playing with a toy in your clit? Like, that's my favorite thing to do. Like, I love, like, playing with my clit, period. Like, I used to be... A, I'm a clit person. Like, that's how I get my nettle. But I used to not even like, like penetration toys i don't know if i told y'all this before but i used to not even like penetration toys like i used to just like vibrators and shit but now it's like when i actually do it i feel like oh this feel good like this feel like a dick and i'm playing with myself like it's just like that and you know you know i told y'all before i ain't really fucking these niggas right now so a bitch is enjoying her drought with this <laughs> ah. i'm enjoying my drought with this and it's lovely. It's always lovely with my toys. It's always lovely. So, like, while I'm playing with myself, I will definitely, like, put an anal toy in my booty. So, that brings me right on to um, this next toy I have here. But, wait, before I get into it, let me just put this right in there. Y'all should listen to my podcast, right? I have a podcast called Uncomfortable with Mother Ish. Make sure y'all subscribe to that on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, and follow the Instagram page, of course, on Uncomfortable Podcast. I just had to throw that in there real quick because let me tell y'all, shit is lit. Anyway, back to the you know, toy I got. I didn't. I haven't been able to use this yet, but um, I just got this, and I think it was like earlier this week. I got this in, and I was just on SD. I think that's how you say E T S E Y S T X Etsy however you say it um and i was just searching for like butt plugs and i always like seeing porn like in pornos they be having like is this one porn couple that i like and she has like a stud that always shine in her butt and i feel like that is just so cute like <laughs> like i'm about to go over my main house or something i got this already in my butt and when i turn over he sees he 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 think it's just like a natural hit it from the back zone but no boom I got bling back there, okay, bling, and that shit. I, I know it. Look, I know my ass look good from the back already. So I already know if I put a jewel in it, it's gonna be lit. Period. I already have another one too. I'm. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm really, really into, like, I really found out that I was really into like the whole finger in the butt or any type of anal penetration while I'm getting penetrated. Um, I'm gonna say like last year, like. It was like, whenever I fuck, like, I like a nigga finger in my butt. 
And then like, I, I've come across maybe one man, one guy who wasn't so comfortable with it. And I just was like, what the fuck? Like, don't fucking irk me. Like, I hate that shit. I hate when I'm like, you know, having sex with someone and, they're, and they don't do what I ask them to do. Like, but I'm sitting here doing everything you ask me to do. Like, no, you you want me to do what you want, then I want you to do what I want. Like, that's what sex is about. We're going to please each other. So when he did that, I just was like, mm. I didn't really like it. So, you know, now when it comes to like the whole anal thing, if I just have a toy in there from the rip, he ain't got to worry about putting his thumb in his his thumb in my butt if he's worried about that like you know i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna get mine regardless but anyway let me quickly go over this toy and what it is it's basically an anal toy like i said this is heavy y'all this is heavy as fuck like like let me see can y'all hear that <laughs> like this shit heavy this is let me see what material it is i'm on the like website right now and it's just let me see it's a material okay stainless steel jewel gem okay stainless steel y'all this is a size large i can't let me see this is a size size large i could tell y'all the measurements the large stainless steel plated plug me measurements it says it's all over 3.6 inches right the widest diameter which is this part which i feel like is this part because only this part will go in your booty only this part will go in your booty so this part right here is 1.7 inches the insert lift is 3.25 inches and the stem diameter is 0.5 inches. It weighs 5.2 ounces. Y'all, 5.2 ounces. I cannot wait to know what this is going to feel like in my butt. I'm kind of scared. I haven't really put it in my ass yet. Um, I'm going to just, I'm going to probably wait. I'm going to graduate to it. I like my other anal toy for now, but I can't wait to use it. I'll probably use it like when I finally get some dick, put the shit in there. <laughs> maybe 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 because i cannot wait you know i'm saying if y'all like anal toys out there let me know make sure y'all send in that email and then you know i might share it on my show xmotherish at gmail.com i'll be sure to write that down as well um but yeah this is this is how it came it came like so wrapped up y'all this one was like it was like i come with a little thank you sticker that's on there it come with cleaning instructions because cleaning your toys is extremely important. Um, I don't, I've, I don't really come across so many people toys or whatever, but um, I make sure after every session that I have with my toys, I clean them. So you know how after sex you have to clean yourself. Okay, well, when you're playing with yourself, the cum is the object, and you have to clean the toy because you plan to use it again, right? Like, you got to clean your dick because you plan to use it again. You got to clean your pussy because you plan to use it again. Anytime. Anytime. Whether you're going to pee, whether you're going to poop, whether you're going to, you know, whatever. Whatever it is, make sure you clean it, okay? I use soap and water. Soap and water and I wipe it dry. I don't necessarily let it sit out dry. I just pat it down, wipe it, and then, you know, put it away. Um, let me see. There's clean instructions for this. Anal toy that he that Kink Society NYC, by the way, um, they said after each use, run your plug under warm water, followed by antibacteria or non-scented soap to ensure your plug sanitary for future use. Oh yeah, I use um Dial antibacteria soap. So yeah, Dial. Um, rinse your plug once again with warm water and set aside to completely dry. It's ready for use. Enjoy. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> Oh, I will. But yeah, um, that's basically it for the anal toy. That's basically it for the little toy toy, the little real toy, the little dick toy. Now I'm saying it's been a I ain't probably, I probably use this toy since I don't know, it's been a few months. I ain't even gonna lie, it's been a few months um since I've used this toy specifically. Um it's just however I feel. Like I could be watching a porn, you know, what the term is, which fucking toy i use it just depends on how i feel or how fast or how you know sexy i feel <laughs> like if i'm in bed and it's on some morning shit a bitch is playing with a clit period like i'm not inserting nothing i don't feel like really moving that much all i gotta do is get my clit toy and put it on my clit and i'm good but if i'm at night and you know i feel like i want to just rock myself to sleep then okay i'll bring out the toy actually i'm lying Oh, yeah, yeah. Nighttime, I might bring out the little dildo toy. Or in the afternoon, I might bring this out, like, literally, like, 
has anybody ever brung out like this type of toy while having sex with a guy like <laughs> let me know i know guys be feeling fucking some type of way when i pull out my toys like i've had i remember one time i had a guy he was like yo put that shit away he was so mad that i kept bringing out my toy but it just you know i don't know i've gotten to the point where a dick just don't do it for me <laughs> only a dick <laughs> i haven't come across like a good dick in a long time so i always like need my toy um yeah like if i'm trying to nut if we fucking and I'm not and I'm like mm, like you know I don't know I guess I'm so used to playing with my toys now that it's kind of hard for me to just leave them alone like y'all know what I call my toy right I already told y'all I call her Bob I can't wait till y'all meet them it's two of them um it's called battery operated boyfriend that's what the acronym says battery operated boyfriend and I can't wait for y'all to use them I meant for y'all to see them um, but that's really it, you know, if y'all have any questions or anything that y'all feel like I didn't answer, you know, write it down in the comment section, or you could just send me an email if you don't want it in the public eye, and I'll be more than happy to answer what I can. Um, you know, if y'all have any experiences y'all would like to share, just let me know. So right now I'm going to ask Instagram, like, let me see, they've been talking shit. Let me see, anybody got any real questions for me to answer on here? Let me see. Um, use it right now. What the fuck? You talking about using it right now? Like, nigga, you better suck this dick. Uh, you got some rechargeable battery? No, but I did see Doracell, um, have them now. That's lit. Like, shout out to Doracell. Okay, Shay was in here. I don't know if she in here. She gonna say, bitch, you said you a clip person. I am. Like, you know, that just mean, like, you like playing with your clit. Like, that's what a clit person is. A clit person is basically, like, someone who comes from the clitoris. Like, there are people that are penetration people, which means, like, you know, you can come from an actual penetration outside the clit. And some people can just do both. I can't. I mean, I can. I've done it before, no lie. Like, I probably come across, like, two dicks in my life so far. My job, I'm 26. So, two dicks in my life so far that have actually made me come. y'all have any questions that y'all would like mother each to answer and i'm saying i'm around because <laughs> y'all ain't cool when you know let me play my music because i'm out okay well you know um as i said before don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel click that button come fuck with me and i'm saying like i'm gonna I'm try to be like i said i'm gonna try to be very very consistent going forward with my videos um quality is just gonna be keep going up content keep going up make sure y'all follow me on instagram at mother each m-u-v-a-e-s-h make sure y'all follow my podcast page um make sure y'all follow my twitter same name make sure y'all follow my facebook same name um and anything else, y'all know, y'all go catch me. Catch me outside. How about that? Like, no, y'all. Um, I just want to leave on a good note. Um, thank you to anybody and everybody who supports me. And I appreciate it. And, you know, um, stay positive always. Never allow anybody to take you off your square. Joanna, hey Joanna, hey Joanna, Jo Jo Joanna. How you gonna play me like Joe Bahu, Joe Bahu? Uh. How you gonna do me like Joe Bahu, Joe?